Hey tires, Darren here, back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a pattern called the Moline Laker from Alan Grombacher. I really like these red and olive combinations. This is a great fly for any mountain lakes. The brookies and rainbow trout in these lakes really love to slam this fly. This one was tied for Jasper's Moline Lake. And this lake has a healthy population of brook and rainbow trout and also has the distinction of being the lake from which Alberta's record rainbow trout was pulled, which was over 20 pounds. The brookies in the lake can also hit 10 pounds plus and they really love to slam this fly. This fly was featured in my Streamers 365 project back in 2002 and this one was number 276. I'll provide a link in the description so you can see the fly that uh, Al Grombacher tied originally for the project. All right, let's have a look at the material list and get started. So let's just go through the construction of the wing. So I've got here two olive grizzly hackles and two red hackles. So first thing, we're going to measure these out and the way that we measure them is we just take the hackle and we kind of, this is what I usually do, I just lay it down to where I want it. Then I'll take something like scissors or the bodkin and I'll just pull out the hackles where I want and then from there I just strip those off then I just trim the stem on that so once we have our hackles ready I take some of this thickened uh, hard as nails. I'm just going to take the inside hackle and then I'm just going to put a small bead Of glue on there. Then you just want to match up your red and your olive together. We'll let that set. And once we have those, we'll take a piece of jungle cock. And I just take some regular hard as nails. I'll just coat the back fairly liberally. I just want to place that on the center. And then we'll let that dry and then at the end we should have a nice pair of wings. Alright, that's it for the wing section. So we'll put that aside, let it dry and get started tying the hook for this fly. Let's get a new hook in the vise. We're using a Mustad Signature L87-3665A. This is a size 4. Just start by putting on a few turns of a black 6 aught thread. Trim that out. We're going to need 
some silver tinsel. So we're going to tie this. This is a uni silver gold tinsel. I'm tying this with the gold side facing out. Set that in the hook clip, material clip. Next we're going to use a little bit of silver uni French oval tinsel. And this is a size medium. I like to use a bit of a larger size just so that it shows up on the pattern a little better. And we'll tie that in along this side as well. This just helps keep the body uniform when we tie it along the whole length. It also helps keep it secured in place. Just do close wraps all the way down to the bend. And then we'll just wind our thread back up. I like to try and keep it fairly close. If this is a fly I'm going to fish, I don't worry about it too much. If it's one that I want to give as a gift or tie for one of the collectors that I tie for, then I'm going to take my time on this and make sure that my thread wraps are touching. All right, I'm just going to add a half hitch two and I'm going to use my rotary vise here. So I want to make sure I've got silver side getting wrapped here. So we just kind of pull down at a slight angle. You want to just make sure you avoid that hook point. You just kind of give a constant pressure on this tinsel as you turn it. You just want to make sure you've got a little bit of an overlap as you're winding. And as you get further up the hook shank, you can kind of see that the hook gets pulled a little bit more. Just have to compensate for that. Make sure you still have that overlap so you don't get the tinsel buckling. All right, just use your finger to hold that in place. And we'll add a couple wraps to secure the tinsel. Trim that away. And then I like to reverse wrap. The oval tinsel and just do that in open loops up the hook shank. And we'll just secure that, give it a trim. I'm gonna flip the <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna flip the hook upside down. I'm gonna use a little bit of red bucktail. Don't need a lot, just a small pinch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out some of these longest Fibers, I'm just going to kind of match them up a little bit. Hand stack, I guess. I'm going to roll the hairs together in my fingers just so that they can uh, all kind of find a, a place. 
place where they can sit well together. I'm going to give a measurement. And then I'm going to trim. So I want this bucktail to go just a little bit beyond the hook bend. I'm going to trim that. I'm going to come in and do a little bit of a switcheroo with my fingers. I'm going to put the hardest pressure near the front and as I go back I'll lighten up on my pressure because I don't want this bucktail to flare up. Next we're going to take a few fibers from a red grizzly hackle. And we're just going to tear those off and tie them in as a throat for the fly. Flip that back up. Now this next step, we're just going to take about four or five peacock hurls. Just going to try and match them up to the tips. And then we're going to tie those on to the top of the hook shank, just a hair shorter than our bucktail. All right, now we're going to go grab our wing that we've glued together previously. And so we just want this to sit on top of the hook, sort of tented over the peacock curl. Now with the peacock curl, I should also mention that uh, some of the flies I've seen don't include this, um, but some of them do. So the one that I tied before didn't have it and this one does. So we got those wings secured. We'll just trim that off. I'm gonna come in and clean the head up a little bit. Add a whip finish. We'll add a coat of head cement. And there you go, the Malayne Laker. Thanks for stopping by my Fly Time channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.